jackfruit, y'all. Jackfruit tacos. <laughs> Welcome everybody back to Keisha's Kitchen. Today we are making jackfruit tacos, or like the Spanish like to call it, carnitas. So I just want to kind of break everything down for you and make this really, really simple because when I first did this recipe, let me tell you, I got it all wrong. <laughs> so there is an actual difference between jackfruit, okay? You have your ripe jackfruit and as well which also comes frozen and you also have your young jackfruit in brine or water for this recipe the jackfruit carnitas slash tacos what you want is definitely the one in the brines because you don't want your jackfruit sweet so what i also realized with the ripe jackfruit is that when you're pulling it apart to try to achieve that meaty texture. It doesn't do the same as if you were to use the jackfruit in brine or water. So this is your best bet. Now let's hop on over to our stove where we're gonna saute up our jackfruit and onions. So we have the stove on medium heat. And what we're gonna do is we are going to put in our two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. So that's like so. We're gonna use our one small diced onion. Listen to that sizzle. And we're gonna give this a good saute until it turns translucent. I absolutely love onions, let me tell you. Minus the smell. <laughs> and I mean the smell from your actual body odor. <laughs> And the reason why is because it actually contains sulfur. Sulfur is great for your skin, your hair, your nails. It's an amazing mineral. Next, we're gonna add in our jackfruit. Okay, mix it all up. And now what you wanna do is you wanna create a convection. So what we're gonna do is just close it with the lid. This way, we're gonna allow it to cook a lot faster. And we also want to tenderize the jackfruit meat. So we're gonna leave this lid on and allow it to cook for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. You may wanna check on your jackfruit just after about five minutes or so, just to make sure that it's not burning as well, okay? <laughs> Important factor for this. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now, and I just wanna check on our jackfruit just to see how it's doing. Look at that, it's perfect. Very, very tender. See how it's just breaking up right now in the pan? That's exactly what you want. So it is ready and it's time to be pulled and sauced. Stove's off and we're gonna take it to our cutting board. Okay, so as we know, it's gonna be very, very hot right now. So what you do wanna do is just be very careful. We're gonna add some of our jackfruit meat on the cutting board here. And we're gonna shred it, but using two forks. And this is gonna give that kind of pulled texture exactly what we want for our tacos. Look at that, look how tender it is. Now, another way, just to make things a little bit faster, once it's definitely cooled, you can also use your hands and just start pulling away. So once all the jackfruit has been pulled apart, it's time to sauce it up. Okay. So we are gonna start with our two tablespoons of tomato paste. And get that in the bowl. Next, we're gonna use half a cup of orange juice. And give that a little whirl. Then, which I absolutely love, our seasoning. So this is actually something called a mise en place, I learned. All that means is get your ingredients ready before you cook. 
So we're gonna put in one tablespoon of our garlic powder, one tablespoon of our paprika, one of my favorite herbs to use, one tablespoon of oregano, and two teaspoons of ground cumin. And that's all gonna go into the bowl. <laughs> this is amazing. You should smell the fragrant. <laughs> Now you want to make sure that you're stirring your sauce very slowly so that the sauce doesn't get on your face. <laughs> Next, we're going to use our freshly squeezed lime juice. Now I said to use half of a lime. I just cut it in half just to make it look pretty. And so we can give it a little squirt. This is going to be great to balance out the sweet that we're using for our two tablespoons of brown sugar. So add that bad boy in. Next, we're gonna add in liquid smoke. Let me tell you, I've never heard about liquid smoke before in my life until one of my girlfriends asked me this question. And I asked one of my other friends who's a chef, what is liquid smoke? All it does is it gives a smoky flavor to any recipe that you're using. And this actually is like a, almost like a substitute instead of putting it on the grill, since we're gonna be putting it in the oven. So for this, we are gonna add in one teaspoon. Like so, whoops, I think that's a little bit more, but that's okay. <laughs> we like it a little smoky in here. <laughs> and give that a mix. This smells amazing. I love making my own sauces because you know what? You know exactly what's going in here and it's great for your digestive system. If you noticed, we're using absolutely clean ingredients fresh, well, not fresh herbs, but clean herbs. You know, whether they're dried, whether they're fresh, it doesn't matter. Next, we're gonna add in our liquid soy seasoning. Now this seasoning, I absolutely love it because you can put it on anything. You can use it in any recipe. So, and this is also gluten-free and it's low in sodium. So it's actually one of my favorite. Now, if you do have a soy intolerance where you can't use soy at all, then you can substitute this part and use something called coconut aminos. And we're gonna add in two tablespoons. Like so. And give that a quick mix. And last but not least, our olive oil. And we're adding in two tablespoons of the olive oil. We're just gonna give that a quick drizzle like so. All right, give that a mix. You have to smell the aromas. This smells absolutely amazing. Next, we're gonna taste this. Oh yeah. Ooh. It definitely has that kick from that liquid smoke. Now you'll find that I didn't use the sea salt just as yet. And that's because you'll find that anytime you do use a soy sauce or a, you know, a, soy, a liquid soy seasoning, it already has its own salt to it. So that's why we're just gonna hold off for now from using the sea salt and we're gonna add it in at, at the end. At least this way, you're not adding in too much salt because again, you can add it, but you can't take it away. Now it's time to sauce up our jackfruit before we put it in the oven. Okay, so we have our jackfruit here. It's already been tenderized. I'm super, super excited to taste this. And now we're gonna sauce it up. Also, just make sure that before you do pop it in the oven, make sure to line your pan with a parchment paper and the reason why it's easy, it's an easy cleanup versus having to scrub your pan at the end of all of this. So sauce away. Look at that, I like it so And we're just gonna sauce this up. Maybe I actually should have put it in the bowl, but that's okay. <laughs> I 
Look at that, voila. It smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna chuck this bad boy in the oven right now and allow it to bake for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes on 400 degrees. It's jackfruit time. Let's get this baked. Now it's time to assemble our jackfruit tacos. You can either use a corn tortilla or if you want to get a little bit more healthier and nutritious, lettuce wraps. We're going to go with the corn tortilla today. Perfect. We have our jackfruit meat. Next, we're going to add in some basmati rice. Feel free to use any sides that resonate with you. So I'm gonna use some basmati rice, some guacamole, some fresh tomatoes. You can also add in some corn, some black beans, and why not? The lettuce wrap that we didn't use, I'm gonna just Add the lettuce in here, like so. Now we officially have our jackfruit tacos. Delicious, let me tell you. Now I know there's been huge talks when it comes to, you know, jackfruit in the taco world and it's like jackfruit you're cooking with jackfruit who does that how can you cook with a fruit i'm gonna tell you right now this tastes amazing the sauce the seasonings in the sauce it actually brings out the flavor and the reason why it does that is because jackfruit has no flavor so it will actually absorb any flavors that you put in it so it tastes so super super good I recommend you try it. Thank you everybody for joining me in the kitchen today as we made our jackfruit tacos. I look forward to seeing all of you next week Tuesday at 12 o'clock here in the kitchen cooking with me as we stew up some lentil veggie stew. I'll see you all next week. Health is well.